All right, so this is ML Overdrive, and we're going to attempt another uh, carrier kind of tutorial. Uh, this is going to be a higher tier carrier game. I'm going to be rocking my midway. So I'm using the two fighters, one torpedo bomber, two dive bomber package. So that means I've got kind of both air superiority and a good strike package. So we'll be able to talk a little bit about how to properly use your fighters and that sort of thing. And hopefully it'll be an exciting game. Uh, I'm against a, I'm against a, 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 a Hakiryu, so that's bad, because uh, <laughs> it's better. But uh, what you gonna do? Uh, yeah. So first thing we want to do here is, yeah, we got two fighters. So there's a bunch of different ways to to kind of play fighters. Um, some people like to hold them back and kind of lure the strike craft in, so that they so that the the strike craft operator doesn't see where the uh, where the fighters are until the last second. Uh, that's uh, the more I play, uh, I don't play air superiority that much. But the more I play it, the more I find that's actually a good idea. Um, so some basic ideas about using fighters. Uh, the main thing you want to do is you simply it, it's really simple. You just want to look at your ship displacement, and you want to say to yourself. If I was the enemy carrier, what would I be going for? Uh, so obvious candidates like lone battleships, this Yamato is definitely going to attract attention. He doesn't have a cruiser near him. I've got a fighter right here. I'll send a plane towards it, see if this guy's paying attention or not. I got the one fighter. So I might be able to bait him in. Uh, he's got three, so he's gone air superiority at least a little bit. He hasn't gone strike. Strike, a carrier only has two fighters. Uh, he's gone full air superiority. Okay, so this is going to be a good fight. So what that means is that he's got four fighters to my two. Uh, so obviously that's going to be difficult. Yeah, see, he wants, he wants A. He's looking at A. So what we're going to do is we're going to move all of our strike package up to sea away from where he has all of his fighters and we'll just let our fighters stick around here uh, so I want to make sure that he's focusing properly here because if he, he's got all his fighters clustered up which means that if I can get one big strafe on all of these then that would be pretty good I didn't do it quite right there gotta get this one out of here Right, and now if he lets me do this, this would be really funny. So I'm using my one fighter as bait, and I'm just going to strafe all his other fighters with my one. Shot down 13 fighters with one shot. Okay, so now we're just going to let that tangle, and we're going to go up here and take a look at this Udaloi. As you can see, yeah, we've absolutely shredded. So that's a, that's one of my favorite. That's a that's a pretty classic tactic. You use one of your fighter squadrons to basically bait them to bait them all in and then uh you while they're all clustered around your one fighter you strafe it with the other ones with the other fighter yes you hit your own fighters that's totally fine that that's what happens uh yeah so 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 good he took down his first wave of fighters uh pretty spectacularly actually what's he doing with his torpedo bomber he's going at a gearing trying to torp it i don't think that's going to work uh, so let's focus on our planes. We got a Montana. So we definitely want to hit the Montana. Actually, you know what? We're going to come at it from either side here. Then bring the torp straight in. Why do we have... Oh, okay. So the gearing has defensive fire. And he has it active. But his defensive fire is only active for a short amount of time. So we'll do a drop here and see what we get. I'm not expecting too much. And I could try and save the torpedo planes, but no, there's a fighter there too. It's not worth it. And I got a couple of hits on the Montana. Some flooding. That's good. And actually, if he keeps chasing... I'll tangle that fighter. 
it's away from his AA, and it's around a bunch of my cruiser AA and stuff, so my plane should be able to win that. So when you're uh, something you want to do, uh, want to think about with fighters is um, you want to tangle them over your over your ships, not the enemy ships. Pretty pretty easy to understand why, because then you get the benefit of their uh, you get the benefit of their AA as it is. So I could go in and I could strafe those guys, but I'm seeing this giant wall of strike craft heading in, so instead I'm going to go try and help this guy. Uh, not going to get there in time, unfortunately. It looks like he's dead, so we'll just go back around, head back to the planes, and we'll just strafe them all. There we go. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay, so that was really weird. It went right through... <laughs> it went right through a bunch of planes without killing any of them. Uh, okay, well, I don't have an explanation for how that happened, but that's a little weird. Uh, okay, so some strafe mechanics. So the thing to think about with strafe, it's kind of like... So when you hold down Alt, that's the aimer it gives you. So that's really important. And you just kind of want to do... Ah, uh, yeah, see, he pulled it out at the last second, so I missed the strafe. Probably going to hit that carb with those. Oh, hang on. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Ah, uh, okay. So he's going to get tangled by all these fighters now and probably shot down. That's okay. Uh, oh, now I have not been paying attention to my boat. i got to move my boat because I'm about to be seen. So let's get the hell out of there. Let's go take a look over here. we got an Adigo and a Freddy. Not too afraid of the Adigo. Uh, the Freddy, I'm definitely afraid of. Adigo is a about to become, yeah, he's about to see me, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, Adagos don't always have defensive fire, uh, it's an option for them, so if we're lucky, he does not have defensive fire, and we will find that out pretty quick, uh, so I'm going to send my first dive bomber squadron at him, no, he's backing up, huh, he really doesn't want any part of this. Oh, it's because of the torpedoes. Okay, so now time to fire. Okay, so he hasn't defensive fired yet. He's now defensive fired. The way you can tell is because I hold down alt and the aiming, the aimer is still huge. Still got a couple of hits, but I'm not going to bother engaging with the other planes. There's no point. We'll pull them away. Uh, so let's take a look here. Yeah, so this is, so his defensive fire should be up by now. So we're going to go in. Uh, we did get the hit on the Freddy, and he did use his damage control. So, anything we get on him should be, should stick. The catapult fighter very nicely has decided to entangle that. And that looks like a pretty good torpedo drop. That's going to flatten him out pretty good. Whack. Yep. Oh, I almost killed him. Okay, yeah, so this guy's saying, help me, because I'm getting hit by bombers, and I will say okay. So for now, uh, if you left-click one of your fighter squadrons on top of a friendly unit, it will give you that, and it will start to basically um, patrol around it. That's the patrolling thing. I'm not going to be able to get to that torpedo bomber in time. Unfortunately, even if I had strafed, he would have been able to um, let off his munitions. I wasn't in time. And if I had strafed, it would have committed my fighter to running the whole length of the strafe, which would have put him in uh, in danger, unfortunately. That's okay, though. It's a tight game, but we're doing all right. Um, so the main thing to focus on here, there's a lot going on. It's a tier 10 game. Um, but I think I've done a pretty good job of shutting down their Hikaryu. Uh, and he has not done a very good job of shutting me down. So he has four fighters, which means that half of his complement are fighters and not strike. Uh, so that means that what he wants to do is he really wants to shut me out of the game. And right now he's not actually able to do that. Um, I think I've shot down more of his fighters than he has of mine. And got 85,000 damage, so I'm still getting my hits in. So his fighters are down here. I'm going to take my fighters down there. 
And I'm going to take my strike craft up here towards this battleship that looks delicious. Uh, yeah, so he's got torpedo bombers. He's trying to make something happen here. I don't know why. Uh, there's a Moskva and a Shimikaze, so I'd be impressed if he actually hit something there. This guy's just leaving all of his fighters in the AA, which is not a good idea. Um, but I bet he lets me strafe. I'm just going to strafe right in. Yeah, that was a good strafe. Wiped out ten of them with one shot. He should have kept running. Um, I got a destroyer on my tail, but I'm not too worried about that. All right, what else we got here? We got a Moskva. Let's go hit the Moskva, and let's go down here. All right, planes have made short work of that. Let's take the fighters over here and take a look and see where that destroyer is. This destroyer is trying to come and get me. I might actually have to run really far for that. Here comes the Moskva. He's got defensive fire, so we'll just do an auto attack because it doesn't matter. Oh, his defensive fire is up, so that's good. Here comes our second bomber. Moskva's dead. All right. Change course. We're going up at the Ismo. All right, and as for the planes, where is his strike? Okay, his strike is going up towards the Yamato, because that's where I'd go, so that's where he's going. So we got to get our fighters up there. Meanwhile, we're going to manage our strike here, try and get a nice big hit on that Ismo. Bam, not bad. Meanwhile, yep. See, I should have paid more attention here. He's going to have a pretty good opportunity at this. Meanwhile, I have to take this opportunity to hit the Ismo. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Nah, I didn't do that right. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm just hovering this around because I have to focus here more on the fighters. Oh, where's that torpedo bomber going? Let's get him. At this point, we just need to get these torpedoes in the water. Anything I get here will be good. This one's finishing off that. This one's finishing off that. Got a torpedo hit. Got two torpedo hits. I still have to keep running because I still have a... I still have a destroyer on me. Uh, what do we got? What's he doing? Oh, his stupid thing is shooting down the... Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Oh, God. And meanwhile... I got a bloody shimikaze on me. That's okay. I don't think he's going to be able to catch me, to be honest. We'll find out. Uh, I'm going to leave... They're low on ammo, but I'm going to keep them up because I think they're going to be useful that way. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to assign both of them to the Amato to patrol him while I work on saving my own life from the Shimikaze. Yeah, their carrier is just running for his life. That's fine. What do we got? There's the shimmy. Manual drop. Ah, disabled a bunch of stuff. There we go. Whew. All right. Wow, that was pretty chaotic. There was a lot going on there. Tier 10 games are hard. <laughs> Um, but you definitely saw some strafing activity there. Ah, 120,000 damage, didn't get a kill. Shot down a lot of planes, so that's good. Uh, yeah, ended up doing okay. Nothing wrong with that. I definitely uh, beat their Hikaryu. Uh, he was not able to do too much at all. I'm quite confident that I had a better game than he did. And uh, yeah, yeah, we ended up doing all right. Uh, so main thing to remember with the fighters story, there was a lot going on there, and I also had to manage my strike packages as well. Um, but yeah, the, the stra um, strafing is really important and what else? Strafing is really important. Always remember to, um, 
try and entangle the enemy. Try and fight the enemy planes over your ships, not the enemy ships. Uh, don't entangle enemy planes over enemy ships if you can avoid it. Uh, if you have to deal with them, strafe them uh, and then get away. And uh, strafing. Strafing is really important. So that is about it. Uh, yeah, aside from that, uh, did we make any money? Eh, I made a fair bit of money. Uh, mainly from shooting down lots of planes. Uh, yeah, so that was uh, that was actually a pretty decent example of, yeah, I shot down 47 planes. So uh, main thing is to just, yeah, try not to have your planes fight their fighters over their ships. You want them fighting over your ships. That's, uh, that's pretty important. But uh, yeah, aside from that, good game.